Hey guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and this is a 1918 Steinway Model M. Measures five foot seven inches from the very front to the very back. And we just completed this piano, which is kind of a, an accomplishment. I gotta pat ourselves on the back because if you guys have been looking around, you know that getting parts for Steinway is nearly impossible lately. Um, it is very difficult. Most of our orders are pushed out over a year right now on Steinway parts or parts for Steinway. If you watch our videos, you know that we always use Renner. We don't ever buy Steinway parts. In fact, Steinway isn't even making their own parts anymore. They're using Renner. So when we upgrade these pianos and rebuild them, we use Renner action parts. And those are the parts that have been very difficult for us to get. But luckily, we own a whole other business called the Piano Technician Academy, which is an online piano tuning and repair school. And our school was having a meeting with Renner the other day. And we were able to kind of coax them into getting us these parts sooner. Um, so it worked out really well because the piano was done and we didn't have any parts for it. So when we got this piano in, we stripped and refinished the cabinet and the plate and the soundboard. The soundboard was in amazing, amazing shape. I don't believe we even had to do one shim in the board. It was just totally smooth. So we were able to uh, just refinish the soundboard. We did all new damper felts. We did painted the damper heads, new pin block, new strings. Now let me take you to the front and I'll pull the action and show you what we got going on inside. All right, so now that I got the action out, you can see right away we did all new hammer shanks uh, and flanges. These are Renner Blue Point hammers, and these are the highest end hammer that Renner makes. We love these piano or these hammers on Steinway pianos and Mason Hamlin Kanabi. We, we pretty much put them on every piano we get because they come pre voiced, they are amazing right out of the box. Uh, we have to do very little to get them to kind of pull the sound out of the piano, which is really what you want with nice hammers, is you want the piano to have the, the DNA that you're going after, not necessarily just the hammers. And so these runner blue points do a really good job at pulling the sound out of the piano and kind of exhibiting what the piano has to offer and what it can do. Um, and as you just heard, this one sounds amazing. It definitely has that more warm, rich, velvety tone to it. Um, but like I said, we replaced all of these. The Whippins themselves were rebuilt probably about 10 years ago. So they took them all off, soda blasted them, and re center pinned and bushed them. And they turned out really, really well. Um, uh, and we did not need to replace them. They didn't need to be replaced, which is really good because again, it's not easy to get parts. So guys, if you have any questions about this particular, oh, one other thing. These key tops are not plastic. And that's all I'm going to say. They're in really, really good condition. We have a couple small little hairline um, cracks in the, in the key top itself, but they've been repaired, so it's very hard to see. As you can see, they look pretty much perfect. Um, and then we also painted the sharps as well. But again, these aren't plastic. Read between the lines uh, for what I'm saying. I'll push this back in, guys. If you have any questions about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. Thanks for watching, guys.